Sure enough, you guys, we are back again, and we have a new stage, the Ice Caves. It smells like wet fur, which means there's a Yeti nearby. We don't have a rocket pack, which is unfortunate. I would love to, I would love to have a rocket pack, but unfortunately, we don't. What we do have is this. So we can safely glide down. You gotta watch out for a lot of things in through here though, guys. I'm not joking around. These little alien guys are a little pain in the ass. The Yetis are like mega versions of the cavemen. They can toss you around, do some nasty stuff to you. There's these UFOs, which is what the little aliens pop out from. They work as basically roving bombs that can take anything out. These are, uh, these are mines, basically, that... Well, they're mines. You can see what they do. Oh my, there's the compass and everything. We haven't been getting screwed or anything, so it's kind of reassuring. Got to take out all of these guys, though, and get that compass. Because if we end up getting the dark stage this far in, we're going to be screwed without that compass. I don't know what happened to the shopkeep here. Is he still down there? I'm not sticking around to find out. I'm getting out. Fast as possible. It's the way it has to be done. We're making excellent progress here. As, as I said, though, once once you find one, man, you get on a roll. You, it, you, you stare at that first world an awful lot. But once one, once one good thing happens, all, all we needed was the shotgun. Once we got the shotgun, a lot of good stuff fell into our laps. All right, let's see, blow this guy away. You also have to worry about recoil, too, because as you can see, whenever I shoot the shotgun, I go flying back a little bit. Doesn't seem like much, but controlling your atmosphere is just absolutely vital in this game. There's a little tiny penguin right there. I don't know if you can see him or not. Quality of dazzle is not necessarily the best thing, but... Now, this one might be a pain in the ass here. Or not, that he literally just commits suicide. He just literally fell to his death. That is fantastic news. Wow, man, that is just so lucky that that UFO was floating right there and we were able to shoot it out of the sky and make it explode. So lucky. That That's all this game is, though. It's pure luck. Absolute pure luck. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We could do this run a hundred times and not get this lucky again. That's just the way it goes. Now, if you uh, manage to get into the black market, which we'll try in a later episode, and get the Ankh, then you can uh, access this, which is a uh, allows you to get one step closer to the City of Gold. Maybe we will do a City of Gold run if this is this successful this early on. I'm not counting on that, though. Uh, oh man, this is a pain in the ass. Oh, dude, don't. No, you you shouldn't be a dick, man. You shouldn't be a dick. Okay, we pissed him off. And he fell immediately to his death. This is the easiest of all of the worlds, in my opinion. Because essentially, if, if you have anyone pissed off, at the end, chasing you, the shopkeepers, you can just continually uh, make them fall off of the edge by throwing bombs to disintegrate the flooring underneath them. Things of that nature. That way you can continually inch your way closer. Um, uh, what do I want to do here? I don't want to teeter over the ledge, I know that much. Reminds me of my good friend, Teeter L90. Yeah. That was a Peter joke. It was a really stupid one, but... Okay. Had to time that to get that down. As you can see, the... Oh, shit. What the fuck just happened? Oh, man, this is... This is getting a little, uh... 
scary. As you can see, there are certain sections of the flooring that can uh, screw you up quite a bit. Oh, oh, two shopkeeps! You have to be shitting me! Oh my god. Thank god that we had what we had when we had it. That, okay, that eliminated one shopkeep. Now the better question, do we chance that and jump down there? I'm voting yes. Woo! That was close, my friends. That was very, very, very close. As you can see, we made quick work of that stage, and that's what I was explaining to you guys earlier. The, the ice caverns, just like that. You can get right through them if you have the proper equipment, which is essentially a jetpack or the cape, something that will allow you to gradually fall down. The, 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 the cape and the gloves work perfect as a combo because we were able to scale down that wall on the left side. You'll notice that. That's an excellent combo. The jetpack is just as good as well. Hopefully we'll get a jetpack at some point so I can showcase it to you. Hopefully we can beat this game before then. This is the temple, and it is the worst stage in the history of games. Everything here, there's just so much bad shit lur lurking around every corner. Those green lizard men can teleport, so if you anger them, you're screwed. These uh, blocks with the eye on them over here to the left will chase you. Really nasty stuff. I would showcase that. I don't want to, though. As you can see, uh, the worst parts of the second, uh, the first and second worlds have returned. These blocks right here. As you can see, knocking that out. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh man, this is rough. That's going to take care of him. I'm worried about that scorpion though. There we go. Killed the scorpion. He's done. I'm also looking out for mummies, because mummies are an are a enemy. Oh no. Okay. We're going to we're gonna we'll, 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 we'll go into why that's so bad in a little bit, but um let's see, what would be the cheapest route? Oh man. This is really bad, I'll tell you that much. Let's see. I'm going to show you what we have down here that we have to look forward to. Going through our monster book. Anubis. Anubis can float through any wall or anything like that, and he carries a weapon that homes in on you and can kill you in one hit. He is probably, in my opinion, the deadliest of all the enemies in this game. There, as you can see, it is now firing at me. I don't like this one bit, guys. Oh, God. Oh, fuck! Yeah. Dead by fried brain. I've been destroyed by the jackal-headed god Anubis. And just like that, this game is very defeating. All of your accomplishments, all of your dreams, shattered in the blink of an eye. What will the future hold for us next time as the rust begins to wear off and the luck begins to fade away? Join us next time on Zoop Souls Spelunky.